guys, it's Sharon. Welcome back to this channel. Today we're going to make vanilla cupcakes with buttercream frosting. It's basically an awesome dessert or treat that you can have any day. And again, it's really yummy. My personal favorite. So let's get started. Okay, so over here we got all the ingredients needed to make the vanilla cupcakes. So we got 100 grams of butter, 2 eggs, 85 grams of icing sugar, 90 grams of cake flour, 1 teaspoon of vanilla paste, 12 grams of milk powder, and 1 egg yolk. Okay, so over here we got a bowl and a mixer. So the first step is to mix in the butter, icing sugar, and vanilla paste. Just mix that for about when it's pale and done and it's like well mixed together on medium speed and mix it slowly first so that the icing sugar doesn't like up to your face. So let's get started. Okay, so after you mix it, don't forget to spread the sides and make sure that everything is really combined. And then we're gonna put in the egg. So we're gonna put this gradually. We're just gonna put two eggs and one egg yolk and we're gonna mix it in gradually with your hand mixer. And mix it not too fast or not the mixture can break. So just start. Just incorporate our dry ingredients. This. So now we're gonna put the cake flour and the milk powder inside, and we're just gonna whisk it up. I'm gonna put it. And I like to just mix it in first because, or not, the same thing will happen. The flour will just move up to your face. which is in a tray. So we're, how we're gonna do that is we're gonna have an ice cream scoop and this is just to make everything even so that it's gonna raise at the same level and it's not gonna be one really tall and one really short. So we're just going to fill it in. And we're just using the, the regular cupcake liners to get this ice cream scooper. And you also have to fill it uh, three fourths of the way. So not too full because then it'll overfill. So um, and we definitely need space for the ice. Okay, so once your batter is already filled evenly, so you can just tap it or shake it. So that it's kind of evened out. And if you really want to make it really straight, then you can basically use a spatula, maybe, but I don't think it's really necessary. So now you put it in the oven, and the oven is 180 degrees Celsius with convection, and it will be in the oven for 25 minutes. So let's do it. So now we're going to bake this for 25 minutes. Okay, so now it's time to save the ingredients for the buttercream frosting. So over here we got 125 grams of granulated sugar, 2 egg whites, 30 grams of water, 190 grams of butter, 1 teaspoon of vanilla paste, and last but not least, 60 grams of shortening. You can have sprinkles, it's kind of optional, it will make your cupcakes uh, better, more colorful. And you can also have other garnishes like strawberries and mint, but that's 
we're gonna use sprinkles today. Okay, so now we're gonna mix in uh, the sugar and the water in this saucepan. So basically, you just put sugar inside the saucepan and water. And you are gonna make sure that all the sugar is coated with water. so that it doesn't uh, basically if it doesn't get coated I kind of have experiences already it's gonna be a little bit hard and yeah so there's other ways I guess to actually melt this or melt this sugar you can also just melt it just put sugar inside without the water but then you need another way that you have to incorporate in another way so you're just gonna put that on So we're just gonna wait until all the sugar is melted and dissolved in the water and also until all the surface of the sugar is coated with bubbles and that's when you know you're done. But you also don't want it to crystallize or you, don't, you also don't want it to brown. So if it's browning, that's mean that it's getting like being a little bit like caramel and you don't want that. So meanwhile, we're just going to put some egg whites. And we're just going to whisk this until foamy and don't worry if it's not soft peak because we don't put any sugar but we're going to put sugar later so. Okay, so actually the hand mixer actually is kind of faster than um, the regular mixer, the stand mixer because it kind of reaches all points it's all clean on the middle, so you just want to put it in. And you do not want to like mix the pan with a spatula or anything because it's just going to make everything crystallize. So you just want to leave it alone. But if it's like only forming in the middle, you can just switch it right And you do not want to over mix this egg mixture or not if the egg mixture, egg mixture will break. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting a little bit bigger, and that's okay, but that's actually one factor why we should not overfill our cupcakes. You just want to fill it three quarters, as I said before, or not, it will be more overflowing than this. It'll just go whoo! So we're just, yeah. So, and we are waiting for 16 more minutes. <sighs> the smell is so good. So now, because our cupcake is done out of the oven, so we're gonna put and make again the last step of the buttercream frosting. Okay, so time for step two of buttercream. So first, we're gonna mix in the butter. So next, let's get to the shortening. And you just wanna mix this up with your handy dandy hand mixer until it's soft. So you just want to mix them together so that when it mix with this later on it's not gonna be like have chunks in it. You don't want that. Or like kind of pre-mix it because this is a really fluffy egg mixture. I don't really want to deflate it. Our mix really low speed or medium speed, low to medium speed. If you mix it at high speed, um, it's I think they make it low medium to low speed because if it's high speed, it'll just destroy everything. So destroy the fluffiness of the egg whites. So it's just gonna be like butter. Butter with egg taste. So Okay, 
so now that all our frostings all magically appeared in each and every bowl, so now we're just gonna color them. So my plan is, so over here we got some, basically these were color powders, so we just put water in them so that it can be fluid and we can mix it up. So this will be pink, this will be blue, and this will be purple, and this will be the base coat, and we're just gonna swirl them all together later. So let's color them. Ta -da! Finally, so all of the colors have been mixed up magically once more. So now it's time to assemble everything. Okay, so now we have all of the colors that we pick or you choose in a popping bag. So this is like similar to the tree coupler, I guess, but we don't have it right now, but we're just gonna install four. So we're just going to, so over here we got some variation of colors. We're just gonna cut each tip. This and this. Okay, so we're done with this. So we're just gonna bring in the wonderful cupcakes. So my plan is to basically do the original piping to just go swirl, 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 and then let go. So because this includes four bags, piping bags inside here, so I think we're gonna add more force than usual. So let's just start with one first. This is just like carnival sprinkles or confetti sprinkles. Okay, so we're done. I'm hungry and it's time to say the closing. This cupcake looks amazing, spectacular, and extremely awesome. Thank you for watching this video. It's sadly the time to end, but don't forget to watch other videos. Like, subscribe, and share it to your, all your friends and family so that you can all enjoy this video together. And don't forget, if you really like this recipe, you can make it at home yourself. It's amazing and it's yummy. So thank you for watching this video and bye!